Little Red Riding Hood Story Slash English Once upon a time, there lived a little girl called Little Red Riding Hood. She wore a beautiful red cape that her grandma had made for her. One day, her mother said, Come here Little Red Riding Hood. Your grandma is not very well. I would like you to take this bread and cheese to her but remember to stay on the path. Little Red Riding Hood set off to her grandma's house. She lived on the other side of a forest. As Little Red Riding Hood was going through the wood, she met a wolf. He was waiting for her to get closer and closer and closer and then he jumped out from behind a tree. The wolf asked, Where are you going to? Little Red Riding Hood said, I am going to see my grandma because she is not very well. The wolf gazed at her and said, See these pretty flowers? Why not pick some? I am sure your grandma would love them. What a good idea, said Little Red Riding Hood, and she skipped from the path to look for flowers for her grandma. Then the wolf ran to grandma's house and knocked on the door. Knock, knock, knock. Who is there? asked grandma. Little Red Riding Hood, replied the wolf. Grandma whispered, come in, I am too ill to come to the door. The wolf let himself in. Poor Granny did not have time to say another word, before the greedy wolf gobbled her up. He put on her nightgown and nightcap. He jumped into Granny's bed and pulled the covers over his nose. Unaware of what happened, Little Red Riding Hood came joyfully to her Granny's house and knocked on the door. Knock. Knock. Behind the door, a hoarse voice answered, Is it you, Little Red Riding Hood? Come in. Come in. Now Little Red Riding Hood realized that her granny may feel very ill and, feeling a little worried, stepped in the house. Little Red Riding Hood was very surprised when she saw her grandmother. Granny, what happened to you? Why have you got those large ears? The girl asked amazed. All the better to hear you with, the wolf answered. And why have you got those big eyes? Continued Little Red Riding Hood. To see you better, said the wolf. And what about those big sharp teeth, carried on Little Red Riding Hood? All the better to eat you, bellowed the wolf and with a jump and a gulp he gobbled Little Red Riding Hood up. Yummy, he said, patting his large tummy. But, the wolf didn't know that a forest ranger was just passing by. He had listened to Little Red Riding Hood talking to the wolf. At first he himself thought that Granny had quite a coarse voice but soon he realized that something odd was happening and he rushed into the house exactly when the wolf was patting his tummy. You greedy wolf! Spit out what you swallowed or you will never see another day, the ranger shouted. Surprised and frightened, the wolf immediately spat Little Red Riding Hood and her grandma out of his belly and ran out of the house. Little Red Riding Hood and her granny thanked the brave forest ranger for rescuing them. Granny even started feeling better after eating some of the lovely food Little Red Riding Hood brought. There was no end to their joy. And they lived happily ever after. The End <laughs>